it's time for one of my favorite celebrations, harvesting. <laughs> You've been observing your plants and their growth from seeds to seedlings, to small plants, to plants ready to harvest. I'm impressed with your patience, your tenacity, your curiosity, and your determination to take a seed all the way to salad in about four to six weeks. Here's one that I took from a hydroponic system. And it's just about ready, but not as ready as these will be. Take a look at your grow chart. Which plant has grown the most in height, in width, in the number of leaves? Which one has an aroma? Another question to ask before we begin harvesting is, which type of harvesting will you be doing? Did you know that there are multiple types of harvesting? Well, you're hydroponic farmers, so you're going to learn both. <laughs> Single head harvesting is where you take the entire plant out of the deep water culture system and the nutrient. You remove its roots and use all of it for consumption. Or you'll be doing another type of harvesting called cut and come again. And this type of harvesting, which is typically done with leafy greens, you pull off the more mature leaves and you leave about a third of the plant to continue to grow and then you come back later and you harvest again that's why it's called cut and come again <laughs> today i'm going to show you both of those so let's get started to help make harvesting easier i put an empty tank the same size as my grow tank on a clean level surface and i placed one of the lids of my hydroponic tanks on top It'll be the same size that a lot of you are going to have if you followed the do-it-yourself tank and shelf system in the hydroponics in the classroom series. Before we remove any of these though, let's make some predictions and some estimations. Wait a minute. I have a question for you. When we're harvesting, observing, measuring, and predicting, are we using math concepts? Or are we using science concepts. Hmm. If you said we're doing both, <laughs> you are right. Hydroponics in the classroom is a living curriculum. And before we remove any of these lettuce plants, let's do a bit of observation, prediction, and estimation. How many leaves do you think are on each plant? How much do you think each plant weighs? Which plant, from observation, has the greatest width? Which plant do you think will have the longest roots? Which plant do you think will have the widest roots? With each of your answers to these questions, I want you to follow it by stating why. For instance, I think that plant number one is going to have the most leaves. It's a green butter lettuce, and it appears to be a little bit denser than the others. This is my assertion, and I'm constructing support for it. I want you to do the same for all of your predictions about each lettuce head. Record these on your harvest sheet, so you'll be able to do a comparison and count the actual amount and compare it to your prediction. Now, let's pull one of these plants, let's select one, and do a little bit of measuring. I'm doing this by myself, but I would recommend that you do this with a partner. Having a partner with you makes it a little bit easier. Let's go with number one. What tool will we need? <laughs> I would recommend, yes, that you have some type of measuring tool. I'm using measuring tape and it is approximately six inches tall. It is 10 inches wide. The longest root is, wow, it's 12 inches long. <laughs> and the widest part is two and a half inches wide. Why are we recording all of this? Because we're mathematicians, scientists, and hydroponic farmers. 
who want to grow our plants even better next time. To improve, we'll need to observe, write our observations, determine what we might need to change, determine what we might need to keep, and make the changes as necessary. Let's pull number four and do a comparison. Which one has the longest roots? This one had 12. The longest root is eight and a half inches. Plant number four is seven inches tall and it is 11 inches wide. Are they the same plant? Are we comparing different plants? Are we comparing the same kind of plants? Both of these are Salanova green butter lettuce. They were grown exactly the same way. Wow, I said it was time to harvest and we haven't even picked one leaf. That's because we're busy using our math and our science skills in a meaningful, purposeful, and real world way. If you're growing hydroponically, you're going to use a lot of math and science. For official harvesting, I'm going to need a pair of scissors. They were part of my hydroponics kit. They've been thoroughly washed and are ready to use for hydroponics. Four clean tubs that I use only for hydroponics. You allocate or assign something that you will use that is clean that's only for hydroponics. I also have several other containers that I use. Yesterday I was harvesting <laughs> and you can see, this is where I put what will be thrown away that can be composted. This is where I will put things that need to just be thrown away. I'm going to take number four and let's do a whole head harvest. Sometimes that's called single cut. In whole head harvesting, you remove the roots <laughs> and I'm going to keep them. This is from number four. So I'm just going to write that down in dry erase marker. You take and you remove the leka. We remove the leka and we remove the net cup. Here is the growing media. This is typically when I need a pair of scissors. And then look at what we have. Oh, it's <laughs> starting. Let's count. Oh my goodness, look. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna speed this up. I'm gonna count and I'll see you at the end of my pulling all the leaves. I'm up to 54. 66, 67, 80, 96 leaves. I'm going to record number four had 96 leaves. By the way, I'm using a dry erase marker so I can write on my table and that's where I'll keep track of it. Let's see how much it weighs. Now I weighed this first so I know how much it weighs, and it zeroed out at that point. We have 5.6 ounces of lettuce. Look at it, and that was from one head. You'll be able to harvest the rest of the heads, and you'll be able to compare number of leaves, width, height, size of and length, depth of the roots. Look at all that you are observing. Here's cut and come again. You're going to take the bottom leaves that are the oldest. See what I'm doing? I'm very gently, as close to the growing area as I can, I'm taking them off. And I'm keeping in mind that I'm only going to take about two thirds of the plant. And I'm going to leave the remaining third to continue growing. This is really where it helps if you have a partner who will tell you, I don't know, you might need to take a few more here, maybe a few more there, so that we have enough off of the plant so it can continue, so it can feed us and continue to grow. An interesting question that's asked by some students is, if we harvest through cut and come again, 
Will there be more leaves than when we harvested whole heads? You'll have to figure out that question. Let's see how much it weighs. It weighs 4.3 ounces. It is less, but it was a pretty big plant. Now, what do we do? At this point, we'll clean it. Look at what you've done. You've gone from seed to seedling. This is going to grow into this. Here's the container of lettuce that I harvested yesterday. Cleaned, spun dry, and oh, I have intercut and I have starfighter. <laughs> and you know what? I had over oh, oh, and some green butter. <laughs> Three different kinds of lettuces in my container. If you share with someone else and you teach them how to do it, then you're a teacher. <laughs> and you're making sure that someone else has the knowledge of how to grow their own food. Here it is, hydroponic farmers. It's time for the best part. <laughs> I told you it was coming. <laughs> you can use a fork if you want to. I'm using my very clean hands and I'm going to do Yes, I'm going to eat the results. When you eat the results, you will have the satisfaction of knowing that you went from seed to salad and proved that you can grow food in your classroom and you can grow food in a small space and you can grow food at home. Happy eating and Happy hydroponics.